Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For our today's tutorial, I'm gonna render this small bedroom space using our SketchUp V-Ray 3.4. So, let's start! Anyway guys, before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also like and share and please don't forget to click the bell icon below so you're always updated to all of my videos. So guys, first thing we need to do is we need to consider the amount of lighting we need to put for this bedroom area. What I mean is we don't need much more direct light to highlight this room. So as you can see, I put a floor lamp here and we can put down light but the down light should be in the hallway area of the bedroom okay so now we will put spotlight here in our bedroom first we need to click this V-Ray spotlight click this V-Ray spotlight and then place somewhere here okay and then after we place this one we need to move this in the right place so we can move around here Then after that, we will move this one upward because our spotlight is not yet aligned with our ceiling. So we needed to align it first before we proceed to our next step. So now we have one spotlight here. The next thing we do, is we need to copy this one up to this point. Click this one and then copy and make sure it's along the hallway. So there you go. So guys, after we put these three spotlights, we need to check our spotlight settings. Again guys, click this V-Ray Asset Editor for our spotlight and we need to check the intensity for this one. The intensity value here is 30, so we need to reduce this one. I will put the intensity value around 2 and then check the units here and make it default. And now click the angle here and then change the cone angle into 1.8 the cone angle should be around 1.8 and then for the penumbra angle make it 0.8 next click these options and then the decay should be linear then we will change this fall off into smooth cubic then effective use should be checked also this effect specular and then for the store irradiance map, let it uncheck. For the acoustic subdivisions, should be 1000. And the shadows also check here. And the shadow radius, make it 0. So guys, after we finish these options here, and all the values we put here, we can now close this Fire Asset Editor. So guys, we already finished our settings for these spotlights. So now we can proceed to our scene. I have here scene 3 for our bedroom. So guys, we can click now this render icon. And then it will show up our V-Ray frame buffer. Guys, this is my favorite part. So be patient and enjoy watching. Again guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will make more videos for you. Again, stay safe and God bless to all.
Whoa.